I have written a program to solve puzzles in the game Flat Path, which is a cross between a pipe puzzle and a 15 puzzle. Let's see how it went. Flat Path. Imagine 15 puzzle and pipe puzzle had a baby and that baby grew up and ended up adopting flat design appearance. This is exactly what it is. It's a nice puzzle game, interesting mechanics, easy to play, somewhat difficult to master, available on Steam. The game was developed by a developer called Good Crafter. I do believe he's from Russia, so привет. He has a few games on Steam, all of them have the word path in the name, and I personally really interested in a couple more games that he has, one of which, currently in development, is going to be a puzzle game where you solve tasks using logical building blocks, uh, AND gate or OR gate and so on, and the puzzles will include building really cool things like RAM modules, arithmetical units and simple but actual 8-bit processors. So essentially a hardware engineer simulator slash puzzle game. Which sounds really interesting and cool, and I'm really looking forward to having a go at that game. But for now, back to Flat Path. You now see me, a human, playing it to the best of my human abilities. You have a field of pieces, each piece being a pipe fragment. All you need to do is to connect all sources to all targets by moving these pieces, or by moving the hole, if it's easier to think about it this way, if you fail to solve the puzzle in a set amount of moves, you lose, start over. If you manage to do it, you proceed to the next level. The game has a total of 100 levels that are getting progressively difficult. Playing casually, I gave up started coding at level 81. I also want to praise the way the game handles achievements. It only has 5 of them and you only get one when you complete some meaningful and challenging portion of the game. So to all other games, watch and learn. This is what achievements are for. This is how you're supposed to use them. Now, programming. Getting the data from the picture required some effort, but wasn't too difficult. What was more interesting was the choice of data structure for a puzzle like this. I wanted something that would be relatively easy to work with and debug, something suitable for searching for the solution and efficient enough in case of computational explosion. I ended up having sort of array, but get this, every cell was a string where characters are a collection of directions, literally letters L, R, U, D. As for the sources and targets for pipes, I again literally used the words source and target stored as strings in the same array. I know what you're thinking, shut up. It's actually very debugging friendly. And it works, and that's what's important. As for the method of solution, you guessed it. Brute forcing. This is very much similar to what I did in the Computer Plays Woodways video, where we moved animals solving a move all pieces together kind of puzzle. Speaking of resources, and more importantly, time that we need. There are four potential moves in every game state, and puzzles in most of the game's levels are relatively short. Five, six, seven, eight moves. Run the numbers, you're bound to find a solution after as little as trying about a thousand, five thousand, twenty thousand, ninety thousand combinations. Not the end of the world. Going through ten thousand moves took about one second, so those puzzles can be done within a matter of seconds, really. And this is where things get worse. If you watched a few of my videos, much like the first season of House MD, they have a very clear pattern going on. One, everything is fine. Two, uh oh, computational explosion. Three, hmm, some clever pruning ideas. Four, problem solved. And when you have formula that works, no reason to change it. So everything works splendidly right up to about level 95, at which point it very quickly went downhill. So what happened on those levels? Well, the length of the solution went up to 10, 
12, 15, and finally 20 moves, which means we have to go through a million, 20 millions, a billion, and finally a trillion game states. And if I calculate it correctly, it will take about five years to get to the solution of the final level. So how can we make it less than five years? Deduplication. Trying to track all duplicates was a bad idea. You'd lose way more time searching for them than you gain by having fewer positions to continue with. However, there is one particular duplicate that is really easy to track. Think about it. If you move the hole, say, to the right and then to the left, you end up with exactly the same position. Up, down, same position. Do you see it? Whatever your previous move is, you can ignore the opposite of it in your next move. What it does is it cuts down your branching factor from 4 to 3. And maybe it doesn't sound like a big deal. It is if you consider exponential growth. 4 possible moves made 20 times is a trillion combinations. 3 possible moves made 20 times is only 5 billion. 200 times fewer. Incredible how the branching factor can tame or enhance a computational explosion. And with that, puzzle number 99, the one that required 15 moves, was solved. About 100,000 positions to go through took about 40 seconds to solve. Puzzle number 100 was bigger and was supposed to be solved in 20 moves. So even with all the optimizations we had so far, I was looking at a few hours of computation. I was ready to just let it run overnight when a miracle happened. Well, let's look at it together. 2 seconds for the step 10, 7 for step 11. Fast forward a little bit, 18 seconds for step 12, fast forward some more, almost 50 seconds for step 13. 7 moves to go with exponential growth of required time for each move. And then, all of a sudden, solution found. Turns out this puzzle has a secret solution 6 steps shorter than the one you were expected to find. The game was beaten. And with that, I'd like to finish this video too. A link to the solver's source code is in the description, as well as the link to the game's Steam page. I hope you enjoyed this video, if so, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye!